Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Hi guys, ready to do another project in my field notes journal? I am. I am so excited for uh, this little journal. So um, what I want to do today is use um, this file folder die from Mr. Tim Holtz. And I also put the specimen die in here. Doesn't that look lovely? Yes. So I want to do something with the file folder. I'm going to make a nice closure on it using this beautiful piece of antique ephemera. Isn't it wonderful? I just love it. So something with this and bits and bobs and, you know, we're going to decorate. So um, let me turn to a page where we want to use this. Um, let's see, because I will be covering quite a bit. I'm not going to put it here because that looks sort of similar. Or on the inside, you want to put it on the inside? Don't know, don't know. I'm gonna put it here. I think I'm gonna put it here. Yes, and I'll have it stick out a little bit as a tab. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. We're gonna do this page. I'm gonna use this, this, this. Do a lot of stamping, a lot of inking, embellishing. The works, so. Let's get started. To make this uh, cute little file folder, I used this die cut from Mr. Tim Holtz. This was from chapter three, six, six, five, nine, three, zero. Yes, so I used the die cut of the file folder and also the this specimen bit. So let's just see how this will work. This is going to go on the outside, I guess, or on the inside, I don't know. We need to fold it. Oh, there's scores in here. There is. Hopefully my file folder won't break. Well, it doesn't really like it. it. Does not really like it. Where's my bone folder? Oops. Sorry. Do not throw everything on the floor, love. But we want this to be grungy, so it is quite all right. Yeah. So normally it would be like this. I did not sort of take that into consideration, and I do not want to have this spelled backwards. So yeah, it's going to go like this. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So what I want to do, I want to have a strip of this glued on here. But before I'm doing that, I want to do grunging, grunging up. Um, just starting with um, with inking. I'm just starting with inking. Also going to do some stamping. For this project, I've been using vintage photo a lot. So why stop? Why stop? So I'm going to vintage photo all around it can we do a little bit of this oh yes we can so how are you guys still enjoying the 100 day project and uh, this project is this is a project in itself i am so very inspired by this little journal and um all the stuff that i'm using I have so, so many ideas. There you go. So this is going to be the outside. Now this is going to be the inside. So this will also be visible. I will probably make this into a pocket. And then this into a pocket. And um, yeah. Do all sorts of lovely stuff with this. So grunging it up. That's nice. I'm going to grunge this up um, off camera, guys. So... We did this. Now, I do want to have this piece, a piece on here, but it will not cover everything. So it will leave a little bit of room to do some stamping that I like. So let's get out some of my stamps. I think for this project, I want to go with uh, eccentric and maybe a little bit of sample, but eccentric for sure, because this is going to be on a numbered background. I'm going to use a lot of numbers on here. Starting with probably this one, 
will this fit yes it will fit perfectly so i'm probably gonna have this over here now before i stamp all of it i'm going to rip this piece a piece out are you yes i know i know i am not going to use my tearing ruler no 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 uh, already know i'm going to tear here careful lovely careful yes so it's going to float a little bit guys and then i'm just gonna snap it here oops i'm sorry i'm making all sorts of noises i'm not going to center it i'm going to glue it off center over here so i can stamp a little bit over here and a little bit over here yeah does it make any sense hopefully it does Grunging it up, of course. These were, I believe, from 1904. Can you believe it? Yes, I'm ripping it. I know. I have five or six of these. Um, and I just picked one to play with. And the other ones I'm going to, of course, scan first. I don't need five of the same sort of pieces can't just you know one if you want to play with it so grunge it up this is going to go over here but before i'm going to glue it on i want to do some stamping and splattering um I have this one out First, am I going to do the splattering first? Yes, let's do the splattering first and then some stamping. I might do a little bit of splat splattering on this one as well. Just a little bit around the edges. To give it some interest. See? Already looks way nicer, but it needs a word or... This will fit here. I will do it in black, my favorite black at the moment, which is um, First of Fine Clair. Tapping it, uh, tapping it once, because I do not want to have this very, very dark. Well, it will be anyway. See? Like so. Yes. And let's see if we can, can have a um, sample stamp on the top does he have like a smaller one oh yes brand magazines it will stamp on a fold so it will look a little bit odd i'm guessing but don't do not know for sure i'm trying oh no it's okay it's okay so i'm gonna put this on here it looks, well, might I say amazing? It does. It does look amazing. So I'm going to glue this on. Just using normal glue stick. Nothing special. There's a fold in this piece. I'd like to have it there. <laughs> Just makes it look more real. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Already looks lovely, right? Yes. Um, I want to decorate the inside as well. For the inside, I want to do some decorating. I think I want to have a big sort of background stamp um, on here and then do some more, you know, collaging and such. I'm using the scripty stamp from Entomology. Yes. But I don't have a, an acrylic block this big. So I am using my um, stamping tool and there you go putting this one on here like so yes i'm not doing this in black i'm doing this with vintage photo because i just want it to be sort of interesting in the background but not really really out there This is a very old um, ink pad. 
so I actually don't know if there's any real ink on here but let's hope so let's just hope so there we go I'm going to take out my stamp tool if I can find it well I think this is quicker than me finding my stamp tool <laughs> Oh, that's enough. See? Lovely already. Already really lovely. Um, I'm going to take this away first. Because it's in the way now. Thank you so much, Stamp Tool, for your service. Where did I put the other pink one? There you go. I think I want to have this one on here. Right? Or a piece. I just, I just love this. I'm going to have this one on here for sure. But I'm inking it up. I really want to grunge it up on the edges. Yeah, I think there's not a lot of ink left in this because it's a very old one. But, you know, I think I'm going to buy a new one, but then the Distress one, the Oxide one. For some reason, I just prefer the Oxide compared to the inks. Yeah, have this on, on here. Sure. Sure, lovey, why not? And then we can do a little bit more decorating. Yep. Let's have a big label on here. Let's do some Tracy. Hello, Tracy. What do you have that says Amsterdam something? <laughs> Probably nothing. Well, we can have this one. I'm going to grunge it up first. There's a little piece of white even on here. I did not do a very good job cutting. Yep. And then the grunging. Yes. Looks way better already. Taking some corners. Fantastic. Do we want another sort of... There's a room here for another stamp. But I'm going to put this on first. Or uh, one of these big round stamps. Which one? Um, from Mr. Tim Holtz. In um, field notes, that one. Can you tell I like that one? I use it all the time. <laughs> yes. Something like this. Well, let's just do it. In black. I'm gonna do it in black. Fantastic, fantastic. It's stuck. Don't be stuck. Want to do something here as well? Um, well, this is going to be folded up. So when you fold it out, you'll see this on the page. It's going to be like so on a page. So maybe uh, something over here. Yeah. I have a couple of pieces that I think I might like on here. Yeah. Um, I have this piece from this sort of calendar, whatever like cute uh it's going to be this side up uh, it doesn't really matter it just needs to be lovely right but uh first i'm going to do some inking of course and i think also some splatter stamping i was thinking maybe coffee stains but no it's it's way too small of a surface to put in the, the coffee stains stencil that i absolutely love but I will do some um, splattering. See? There. Ooh, it's even on there. Exciting. So yes, I want to have this one on here. First inking, of course. I'm grunging it up. Yes. 
And um, then this one that also came from one of the die sets. I just want to make a lot of use of these die sets because uh, it took a while to, to cut them all out, of course. And then this one over here. Yeah? Yeah, what are you going to do here? Don't know yet. Don't yet. Maybe nothing. I could do nothing. You don't have to sort of decorate everything, Luffy. Yep, this one first. I'm using art for these because very small surface. I need my tweezers for this. Now hopefully it will stick on. Probably will. I am going to center it. Normally I wouldn't do it, but I think centering it looks nice. Yes, I'm going to stamp something in here. Of course I am. Yep. There was this nice spot over here. Oh, I'm going to scooch it in a little bit so that you can see the little tiny dots. Can you see? I just want it. Yeah. It's the details. It's all in the details, lovies. What I'm going to stamp here? Something sample <laughs> It's a new word. Something sample ish. What does this say? This says numero, and but this also says numero, so that's a little bit of an overkill. Actually, these are all too big, so no sample on here. Uh, I got eccentric out. I bet you there's a number on here that'll fit. Number. Yes. An acrylic block. I have a gazillion, but where, you know, my desk is a mess because, you know, this is not the first video that I'm recording today. Yep. Tada. I don't know if I want to put something here. Are you sure? Maybe a, maybe a stamp. Um, luggage or anything does not really say Condemned. Oh yeah, sure, why not? It's out now. It's out now. I just sort of lightly stamped it, so it's going to be not really, really clear on here. But that's actually what I like. <laughs> See, it's like, even the stamp is condemned. Do not use until adjusted. Well, I did not adjust it. That's why it came out like this. I am sorry, I'm making up stories in my head, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, love it. Does it need something here? No, because let me tell you. This is my idea for attaching it. I want to attach it over here. Yes, have this stick out as a tap. Uh, but then this pocket will um, go all the way to the edge. So I'm going to make this into a top loading pocket over here. Yes, so I'm taking out my... Sucker punch. Um, this was the pocket, right? And I'm just taking out a notch over here, indicating there's a pocket there. Grunging it up. I don't know if we have time to put a tag in here, but you know, probably gonna make some tags anyway. Um, that was not smart. Why? Uh, yes, because I had another idea. <laughs> Is it going to work? It's going to work. It's going to work. Yes. Because what I want to do is have a closure using a piece of file folder. Actually two. These are the pieces that have the scores in them. And I want to utilize the scores. So what I actually want to do is cut another piece of the same size first. I think that is very important. To have two of the exact same size. There you go. And then I am folding on the last score and probably on the score before that. I'm trying to. I will try. 
Well, sort of. Sort of. Doing the same on the other side. Actually, it just needs one score. It's not really necessary to have two. Great. So what I want to do, and I've did, I've done this before. I want to glue this underneath here, over here, and here underneath and over there. Yes. Have them shorter, meet in the middle, and this will be like the closure. But they need to be a lot shorter. Lining them up. Yep. I'm just cutting it like so. Are you? Yes. I'm just doing it. There. Because when we do it now, see, there's a little bit of room in between. I'm going to put in eyelets and a string. It's going to look all sorts of lovely. First, I'm going to round corners. If I can find my corner around it. Well, it's probably underneath a pile of stuff. So, but I have a second one. That also works really well. Yep. How is this going to look if I'm going to put this here? Oh, actually, it's okay. No, it's okay. Do you mind? Oh, I don't. I don't mind. So it's going to be fine. First, we're going to decorate these. Now, guys, if you're going to do something similar, uh, be sure when you uh, stamp some uh, something on or glue something on, don't do it like this. Yes? Uh, if you're going to do them simultaneously. Because you're going to flip this over like so. And then it will be upside down. Did that happen to you, Margaret? No, I'm not saying. But the answer to that is yes. <laughs> so, I learned from my mistakes. Uh, first, I'm going to do all sorts of inking all around. And I'm guessing um, I want to use some, some of this paper on here. Which means... I need to sort of measure what I want, what I, but I want it a little bit shorter. So if I put it over here, where's my pencil? I'm just gonna rip up a strippy, move it like so. I'm gonna cut on this line with a normal ruler, if at all possible. Where did where did I put it? Oh, here. <laughs> Sorry. You take your eyes off the page for one second. Careful love, we do not want to rip this. Well, we want to rip it, but not. Yeah. Okie dokie. So we're gonna have this on over here. I'm ripping it on this line. Where is it? Oh, it's underneath. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna go on like so. But I also want these corners to be rounded. Now, if I put this in my corner rounder as is, it will eat it completely. I know that for sure. So I'm going to trick my corner, corner punch rounded thingy. I do want my trusted one, which is this one. No, you cannot because you need it in the exact same size. Where did I put it? Lining it up. Now, hopefully, this will work. There we go. Be sure to have it on a straight angle, on a straight corner. And there's two. See? Now we can glue it on. Well, not really, because I need to grunge it up first. And also, I want some splattering in the back. Yes, before I do this, I'm going to do the other piece. This goes over here, and then this one. I do not want the exact same number, so I'm going to rip a tiny piece of this edge. Just the tiniest piece. Yeah. And then I'm measuring again, just beyond this line. 
now hopefully yes another piece with straight edges so much work to you know have a corner on something that's how much i like corners corners i'm willing to do all this work There you go. Inking, inking, inking. Yes. This goes here, this goes here. You want to do some splatter stamping? I do. I don't think there is a lot of ink on here anymore, so I'm gonna sort of re-ink it. Again, just doing some corners. I'm even going to do this edge here. There, 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 there. See, looks way more interesting. Well, I think it does. Just some glue stick. center it a little bit now there's glue underneath my nails needed more grunge see there you go but i also want to do something on the inside uh, because we're going to open them up a couple of times. So it needs something interesting. I think I want to put bugs on the inside. I inked all around it, did some splattering and um, took out two bugs. This is from Entomology. I'm going to have them on the page, but you won't see this because this is going to be underneath the... Um, the file folder. Yeah, we're gonna flip it over, sort of. Yep, and this big bug. It's huge. I'd be very scared if I came across one of these. And let's see. Over there. Yes, like so. It's fine. But now it needs a little bit more splattering here there yes okie dokie are we ready to glue everything on almost guys almost because oh i did it wrong see i did it wrong why didn't you warn me yes because now one of them is upside down see that one of them is upside down you're no good you're no good this one's upside down well it is what it is <laughs> i did it again <laughs> You were probably screaming. Yeah, not loud enough. I should give you my phone number. That you can call me. Okay. Um, yeah, well, it is what it is. I need to make um, holes in here. And I'm going to do that with these eyelets. Yeah. Now, I love these eyelets. I really do. But... The eyelet is too big for my biggest setting, but that's okay. We, we, we'll manage. I'm just going to eyeball one of them. Or, or we're going to do it like so. I think my crocodile will manage. So they're both in the exact same place. See? Like so. So I'm going to take my pencil, put it in here and just sort of twist it. Carefully twisting it. And pushing it it will make the hole a little bit bigger i'm just gonna try if it's big enough yeah it is now so that's a trick if your eyelids are bigger than um your crocodile is it on the bigger setting yes it is these are not easy and yes i bought these on aliexpress that, that's why they're no good You know the ones I like? We are memory keepers. They're like butter. 
but they're cute though. Yes. See? Like so. Stupid upside down bug. <laughs> Cannot get over it. Then I did it again. I did it again, guys. Okay. Um, now we are going to glue some bits down. Yep. I'm going to glue this. I'm going to glue the other one first, where the pocket is. I think that is very important. Oh, the pocket's going to have the upside down uh, bug as well. Oh, it's actually okay. It's just flying this direction. You know. <laughs> yeah, I really need to make sure where to put the glue. So I'm going to put, put the glue on the back here. Normally I would put it on the this bit, but we do not want to have glue on places where it doesn't need to be. So just putting it here. Is this the right way up? Yes, yes it is. Yep. Let it still fold over. Yes. Does it look lovely? For sure. For sure. Now I need to have this in the exact same spot. Why did it do all the st stamping on the back? <laughs> I don't know, Lovie. Now, hopefully this is the same spot. Will they meet up? They will. Yep. There you go. See? Oh, it's going to look so lovely. It's going to look so lovely. Probably going to do something here, I think. Yep, this needs to go all the way up. So now we need to glue. Where do we need to glue? This is the pocket. Yes, this is the pocket, right? Yes, so we need to glue here, here and here. Yes? Okay. Hold it here. No glue here. No glue here. Oops, don't drop it. Um, let's see. Yes, 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 and there's a pocket here. Is there? No, there's not. Oh yeah, we can have the pocket. Why not have the pocket behind here? Just gonna have the pocket behind here. Okay. <laughs> I'm a guy for it without knowing I'm a guy for it. This is just gonna be a, like a very hidden pocket. It's going to be extremely hidden. Yeah. Yep. We need a piece of string. What are we going to use? Let me have a look. I think I found something. I have two of these small pieces. There's like twine in a brown color. Very short ones. They came with some present wrapping or something. And I thought they looked lovely. And I think it's big enough to have them. Yes, it is. Through this one. I am going to make a bow this time. But we're not going to do bows. Well, we're going to do bows on this one. There you go. Closure. Fantastic, right? Does it need something? I don't think so. I don't think it need, needs anything there. Not anymore. I think it's this is enough. Something. Yes. We're going to put something there, guys. Um, uh, I was thinking maybe this. Yes, yes. <laughs> Taking out my tweezers because otherwise this won't work. Sorry, concentrating. Oh, it's blowing bubbles again. Okay. Um Let's 
sometimes I'm so proud of me. It's like the, the tiniest thing that we added and it has such a huge impact. Don't you think? I definitely think. Is there a little bit of room left here? I just want something there. I'm thinking to have like this strippy down here with something stamped on it. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, we're gonna do that. There's just not an, there's a lot of space there, but I couldn't scooch it uh, down because I really wanted this to be a tab. Maybe you should have sort of inked and splattered all around it before you put it on. Yes, I could have. But guess what? I didn't. I'm using so much vintage photo, I really need to pick up a new one. I'm not going, going to re-ink this, guys. I am a re-inker. I do like it. <coughs> Re-inking. Because, you know, why not? Saves money. And the environment. Um, splatter stamping as well. First. Yes. Can we sort of splatter stamp somewhere still? Probably can. Oh, yeah, just, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Yeah, just, you know, a little bit of interest. Is there anything in my beautiful sample stamp, uh, stamp set that might fit this sort of cute little label? Registered, done. Well, it's registered in French. Yeah, yes, it will fit. I'm just gonna use this one. You can't see. <laughs> Ta-da! Already so lovely. Quickly put this, uh, this one back. If I ever lose this one, Yes, I'd be crying. Well, I have another one. <laughs> a similar one. A similar one. That I have never used because I am um, so happy with this stamp. I am really, really scared uh, I might lose it. So I'm keeping the other one intact. Just in case. Yes, this goes here. I think when I'm finished with this journal, I've used up a whole file folder. Some, some here, something here. Right. See, guys, I have this. Yes, all my die cuts um, are in here, what I cut out already. I do not have one, two of the same. Oh, this says number. Just number. Or um, one of these. No, it's too big. I got my star. Oh, I'm going to do the star. But I'm not going to do the star as is. I am going to stamp something on it. First, I'm going to grunge it up. For sure. Splatter on it. For sure. And then, what? Uh, one number. Or uh, another star within a star. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Or oh, this one. Oh, I'm going to do this one. Yes. Let's have a look. Now, hopefully, this is sort of the middle. I can't see, guys. Hopefully, it is. Well, oh, that worked. You love it? I do. It is a little bit wet. I need to let it dry for a second before I, I glue it on. Oops. No, no. Sam, please. <laughs> oh, it fell on the floor. I will lose it. I would lose it. Okay. I'm going to use this just in case it's not dry yet. I 
really want to stamp something over there, of course. Let's have the seven the right side up. And you're, we're gonna do a sample for sure. I have not used this one yet. Oh, it will not fit. It will not fit. So we're not using this one yet. <laughs> Will this work better yes but we already glued this on guys so here's the problem i am going to use a block but i'm putting it all the way to this edge see because if i would have it in the middle it will bump on this one and then it will not reach the paper does that make any sense just tapping it once because honestly that's enough with this ink Perfume Violet. Violet perfume. Okay. It's not on there like what I wanted it to be, but it's more grungy this way. Do we like it? I do. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't realize I was already filming over half an hour. So let's quickly look at the end result. Um, when we close the journal and open it up, it looks like this with a lovely tab here so that's really nice i am going to flip it like so because in this way it looks much better so you open there's going to be a tag here yes i'm going to make one a lovely one with a tap on it you open it up like so yes could stamp something on here like this there you go i'm i'm satisfied now with an upside down bug and uh, a bug going up and going down <laughs> apparently and then this is on the inside. It's just all sorts of loveliness. No, I'm not going to put something here. Uh, I'm going to have some beautiful vintage um, ephemera. I don't even know what I'm going to put in. That's for later. But it is looking, I think, spectacular. I absolutely, absolutely love this. So that's it for today, guys. I am really sorry it took so long. Take out all the blabbering of me and, you know, <laughs> all the chit-chat. And it is a half, half an hour project. Hope you liked it. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another 100-day project. Thanks for watching. Bye.